Good morning, gentlemen. We are on the seventh segment of Think Before You Speak, the laws of Shmirat HaLashon with clarity. The series is Lilui Nishmat, the Chafetz Chaim Zechet Tzadik Lebracha, dedicated for the Yeshuot of our Chabura, the Yeshuot of Klal Yisrael, and also specifically for the great Yeshua Gedoyla and Shmira Gedoyla Men HaShamayim, the Chaim David Dom Chayisara. Today's share, the Halacha, is titled Public Speaker. Now, Rabotai, I want to tell you that the following words is not a paid advertisement for the United Association of American Rabbis, but I do want to explain to you a little bit of the feelings of what goes on on the other side of the pulpit. This is a word from the other side of the pulpit when a rabbi or even a lecturer, a Torah lecturer, gets up to give a didasha, and people get up and start running out of the room to leave before the didasha begins, whether it be a Sudat Shalishi didasha, whether it be a Friday night didasha, whatever didasha it might be. What's amazing is, is that the vibe that's given off is, I don't want to get stuck in this speech. Now, the constitu what constitutes Lashon Hara, believe it or not, is demonstrating something that sends a vibe that the other person is going to look very bad from. It makes it seem that what they're about to do is not of worth to stick around. And therefore, the actual getting up and leaving from a shir, Chazal talk about it as something terrible let alone it's forbidden to mock or make fun of a public speaker that's giving a share or a rabbi or a rebbe that's giving a share. Words like, ah, it was boring, or ah, he wasn't so prepared, or to say like when someone mentions, wow, that was a great share, and the guy next to him says, eh, I heard better. These words are absolute lashon hara let alone the guy that says, I fell asleep a few minutes into the class. That already is absolute mocking, degrading of the speaker and of the Torah he's giving. And those are absolute forbidden words, Rosh Hashanah. Better approach the speaker and privately advise him, hey, I think that the material would be given over so much better, so much more appreciative if you would start with the story, you'd come with the this, the that, and give them a little bit of an, a, 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 an example or a tutorial to make the share that much better. You'd be mekayim ve'ahavta l'reyacha kamocha rather than lashon hara in the opposite vein. Show someone that you care about them by cleaning up their act and making them look good instead of saying words that would make them look bad. Because you're not only helping them, you're also helping what they're representing which is the Torah itself. Those people that mock a Rebbe or a public speaker when giving a shir or a Torah lesson, and those people who are listening in and enjoying the mocking, they violate almost all 17 lota ase and the 14 ase that the Chafetz Chaim speaks about in the beginning of his sefer, especially in this area. They're also thrown into the category as a Baal Lashon Hara. Because this particular category is extremely stringent, more than the typical Lashon Hara. And not only that, but the Hafez Chaim says, people that mock public rabbis or public speakers do not end up beholding the Shekhinah in the world to come. By mocking a Torah lecture, by mocking a Shir, by mocking a Rebbe, you're mocking and degrading the Torah itself. Thank you for listening.